Hello and welcome to Driver's Therapy. Today, we're gonna to be talking about valve stem seals. Now, in this video, we're gonna talk about what valve stem seals are, when they go bad, the symptoms, and what to do to fix them. And we're pretty much gonna give you a full educational video about valve stem seals. Now, let's kick it off by telling you what is a valve stem seal. All right, guys, this right here is a valve stem seal. Now, let's look at it up close. Now, if you look at it, of course, it seems pretty simple, right? It has some type of metallic casing on it. When you flip it over, it's got some type of uh, gasket material on the inside and the outside. It looks like a little spring to add the tension around the stem. And pretty much, yeah, it looks, looks like a simple type of seal. Now, let's look how hypothetically it would work. So, if you look at the valve stem seal, right? Now, we don't have a head to show you this, so it's gonna be a rudimentary uh, illustration, so use your imagination. So your head's right here, and this is the part that sticks out in your head. And of course, the spring goes over it, and the keepers, and the top. Now, what happens is that where the valve stem goes through on the guide itself, the guide is you know usually a little brass, little thing where it, where it slides up and down. Well, in there, there's a little bit of a tolerance opening that if the valve stem seal wasn't there, oil would just seep down. So what happens is that this valve stem seal slides over this, and we can't do it on this because this is too big, and it goes all the way down and it sits in the bottom. And what happens is that when the head is being lubricated and oil gets swashed in there, it can't go through, through down the valve guide and into the cylinder. Now guys, one of the most common problems with the Supra, and I'm actually gonna make a video about it because it's, you know, these valve stem seal guys, they're about a dollar or two to buy. But the amount of work, either if you're gonna pay someone for the labor or if you're gonna do it yourself, it is a lot. So these little suckers could cause a nightmare. So when they go bad, what essentially happens, and we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my gloves here because I'm about to show you what happens when they go bad. And in the same time, I'm gonna tell, we're gonna tie in what happens when they go bad in a different materials. Because this valve stem is actually made out of a material called Viton, Viton. We all know that my pronunciation isn't the best, but it is spelled V-I-T-O-N. And it is a very different material than what you could buy at the Toyota dealership. So let's go ahead and bust out a new one. I mean, an old one. All right. So you have intake ones and you have exhausts. And the reason why that makes a big difference is we all know that exhaust um, has actually more heat, of course, and that they're prone to failure. Now, the type of valve seals that are going to be used on an OEM application, let's say on a 2JZ GTE, is not gonna be the Viaton material. It's actually be a different type of rubber compound gasket. Now, let's go ahead and look at one that was on, let's see, and this is, we're just doing it right off the cuff here, so we've gotta search for them, because I like making videos that you and I were both going through stuff. All right, this is a perfect one right here. It's almost like going through oysters. I, I'm sorry, everything's food related sometimes. And this is an intake one. All right, so we'll put these back. All right, so let's look at the intake one. So when you look at the intake one, you can still see that the gasket's there. You can still see that the gasket is the rubber material still there. It's, a, it's got a little bit of cracks in there. It's got a little bit of, uh, 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 like you definitely tell that it's being worn, but the intake one is still intact. Now let's go ahead and go to the um, exhaust. Now look at that guys. This is one exhaust. You could just see the amount of just where cracking is on there. But let us let me show you what most of them look like. <laughs> like that. Meaning that the whole inside of the actual valve seal is missing because it disintegrated or when I pulled them out there, it just became in pieces. Now, this cause, these little suckers cause a big issue. So let's go ahead and talk about we already talked about kind of what they do, they let the oil down, but we're, we're, how do you know if, if your valve seals are gone? Well, the number one symptom for knowing when your valve seals are gone is when in the morning you start your car and you get a lot of smoke and it smells pretty bad because it's, it's fuel, it's, it's oil, and it's just it's pretty intense. Now, the reason why it does that is that anytime that you turn off your car 
oil starts meeting gravity. And what happens is that oil starts seeping down to the oil pan and, you know, through the oil galleries and et cetera. And what happens is that since oil sits is all over the head for lubrication, oil is sitting right here where the valve stem is at, right? Let's see if I could, I can't put these through there. I tried, uh, but it's sitting in here. And what happens is that when the, when the CO itself is, is degraded and it's not functioning anymore, oil starts seeping in and it seeps into the cylinder overnight, just fill, filling it up with oil. And of course, I can fill it all the way up, but it's, it's putting oil in the cylinder. And when you start the car, it gets burned up and that's how you get you know, that's how you get the most common symptom of a bad uh, valve stem seal. Now, another thing is, is that it doesn't just stop there. Otherwise, I wouldn't have replaced mine. But what happens is that the smell, uh, the oil mixing in with the combustion process and everything, it's really bad and it clings to your clothes. And it, it's just, if you like to drive with your windows down, it makes it incredibly, just it takes away from the whole entire like experience. And on top of that, Every time that you're at a stop and go at traffic, you get a proof of smoke. So that are symptoms of a bad valve stem seal. Now let's go ahead and put our little props over here and let's talk about, let me put these over here. And the crazy thing is you can actually smell these. <laughs> All right. So, because they were mixed with the combustion. So let's talk about the most, now I'm not sponsored and I tried to look for as many different options, but let's talk about the most popular valve stem seals, let's say for the 2JZ GT. And th these probably apply for other JDM cars and probably other make and models, but the ones I use are Power Division and they're uh, GSE Viaton seals. And I bought an extra set in case I mess one up. And this is uh, one of them right here. Now I also ordered a super tech valve seal and we're going to open this up. Now the thing, look at how many staples are on here. It's like one, two, three, four, five. Somebody went to town on their staples. All right. Okay. Can't get this one open right now. So we're just going to switch over to, you know what we got. If you want to open that up for me, thank you very much. All right, and here's our next one. All right, these are Ferrera. You know, it's funny is that, you know, Ferrera, and again, I could be mispronouncing it, is a very popular internal, like, component company. They make, they make springs, they make retainers, and blah, blah, blah. And, and I could be mispronounced, but this is a Ferrera one, right? And this is our GCS power division, and thank you very much. And this is our super tech. Now, the interesting part is, is that GCS uses the Viaton seals across the board, but they don't have a separation of intake and exhaust. Now, when you buy OEM ones, there is actually a difference in both the part number and the material for the intake and exhaust. So when you buy the OEM ones, you actually have to know which one is which, you can't get in confused and go from there. And they're actually different colors. Now, the G GSC, uh, is all the same for, for both the intake and exhaust. Now, the crazy thing about SuperTech is that they actually use um, different colors for the intake and exhaust, but apparently they're still Viaton seals. And then Ferrara, I have an intake and exhaust, and in my very quick glance, they look the exact same, in my opinion. Now, when I look up close to these, and we're gonna look, you guys are gonna look up close too here, I really can't find a single difference. I mean, there's some different markings and such, but they look pretty identical in my opinion. I could be wrong. Now, one of them was very unique and I don't know a lot about, you know, the, the, the aftermarket internals, but super techs accommodate bigger valves. When I read that, I'll be honest with you, I was like, oh, I just, I just want something that's OEM application. So that's another reason why I went to G GSE. All right, guys, I hope you guys learned something. As a matter of fact, you know me guys, at least tonight we love giving. So if you guys, anybody wants these uh, extra set that I have, what I'll do is I have, I have a missing one from a full set for the GCS. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and throw in uh, one of the um, Ferrara ones in there, which is pretty much the same thing. And uh, I'll double check for it. So you have a complete set. Um, if you guys, 
uh, anybody wants some valve stem seals and you're about to do the job, uh, feel free, you could use these. Um, my only thing is, is that I, please, no warranty, no guarantee. I just, they're just an extra set. I don't know. But if you guys don't care, then hit me up and I'll just send it to you. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. You guys stay safe and we'll talk to you soon.